So I am up here on top of Mount Tom near Wellsboro, PA. Going to be doing a few reviews. Going to be reviewing some Trail Buddy walking sticks that are adjustable that I love. Today was my first day using those. Going to be taking a look at this here phone holder to take pictures when you don't have any other way of holding the camera for selfies. And I'm also going to be reviewing some ice cleats I bought that I've also come to love. But let's take a moment to enjoy the scenery. We are at the northern head of the PA Grand Canyon. Thinking about getting a drone and when I hike all these vistas in Tioga and Potter County, Pennsylvania, sending the drone out from where I'm at and getting some views. I think people would enjoy those videos, especially anybody that might be homebound for whatever reason, can't get out and do this themselves. So bear with me a moment while we take a moment to enjoy the scenery together, then I'll get to the review. We're at the little top of the hill here, and I'm gonna try to post a picture of the contour of my hike to show how steep it is to get up here. And the studs of the world will be gathering, I believe tomorrow, to do the Mount Tom Challenge, where the top specimens of the male and female race come up here multiple times over a two hour period, I believe it is, and see how many laps they can get over the two hour course. So there you have Mount Tom. And that is looking off to the west, down Route 6, towards Ansonia. So, back to the reviews. Alright, we're going to start off with these ice cleats. They make different sizes based on your shoe size. So here's what they each look like. Two, obviously, in a pack. The little piece goes towards the back. Now, I like this spiky style. The other kind is like a coiled wire. I just imagine that would slip and slide on ice, like pure ice, where these will bite in. And I hiked a waterfall trail recently where these did awesome. Um, <clears throat> so just to show you how they go on, all you do is stick your toes in the front here. Pull the back up over the back of your foot. And then I adjust this down on each side of my toes so it doesn't come off there let's hike them up that simple now I just hiked Mount Tom here and like I said it's a very steep trail these did not come loose they didn't need readjusted they didn't need tightened up I didn't have to hike up on the backs nothing these worked absolutely awesome I've hiked over rocky terrain pure ice um, everything with these I absolutely love them so that'll conclude the review on those and then I'm going to get into the poles I purchased. All right, so the poles I'm going to review today, Trail Buddies, um, adjustable, collapse up. So they're great to take out in the back country where you don't want a lot of weight or anything. They come with several different tips. Today I have the um, ice tips on. They have a little rubber boot that screws on over top of them for rocks. They also have a bigger paddle for snow and a different paddle for mud. I don't have the whole bag of tricks with me that it came with, but these come in a carrying bag um, along with the different tips. Very easily adjust, just open up the cams there, adjust it to whatever height you need. I have mine set where I know I like them for, depending on what I'm doing, and then clamp them down and they will not collapse. If they start to move on you, if these start to fold up on you, all you gotta do is open up the cam, 
turn this thumb screw, tighten it up a little bit, and that'll help this lock even tighter. You don't want to overdo it. You shouldn't have to muscle this in closer. You'll crush this tooth. But just uh, so it's got a good, good snug lock on there. Comfortable cork handle. Got the wrist straps. Today was my first day actually using these here on Mount Tom. And I absolutely love them. Uh, they were great. They held up. I mean, I weigh 210. I was able to put all my weight down on them. And they didn't, they didn't fold up on me. They did awesome. Uh, these plus the cleats I had reviewed, the ice cleats together was like $65. Um, so very small investment, I think, for, for uh, a lot safer hike where you're not going to be slipping and sliding. And here in Potter and Tioga County, PA, naturally we're in the Appalachian Mountains. Every trail leads to a ridge. Uh, where a couple feet to the left or right and you're gonna find yourself back it to your truck at the bottom in a quick hurry So you definitely don't want to be slipping and sliding up here <laughs> That'll conclude my review. Hope to help you out All right, so today I'm gonna review two different products in one This is nothing more than a phone holder and I can't remember exactly what they call this I'll add that in the description when I go home and look it up But this expands to lock your phone in and then we have this gadget here um, that will screw into a tree or anywhere else um, so that you can take selfies. If you're like me and have no friends and have to get all your pictures by yourself, you can screw it into a tree and then uh, get your pictures set in your phone on a timer or whatever. So I'll show you how this works. First time using it today, I was really impressed. Uh, here we got a good solid tree and it doesn't have to be screwed all the way in. I mean, I just find a spot in the bark, you just give it a little bit of pressure. I was surprised because when I saw the size of the screw that was on this, I wasn't sure if it would require a pilot hole or what, and it really doesn't. It'll go right in and work its way right into the tree. And again, we don't have to sit there and screw it all the way in. So with this, like this, you use it, you use it itself as a handle, you know, for leverage. And then once you have it in the tree, you can loosen up these wing nuts, move it anywhere you need to move it, tighten it down. And then this product here can screw in the end or in the back, whichever orientation you need for how you want your phone to be. You screw that in there, tighten the wing nut up, wing nut up against the back of that, and then this will expand. And there's different varieties of these. This piece here that I screwed into the tree, I got that from a small company um, that's just starting out at the PA Outdoor Show. Um, and then this piece here. Um, I got on online and like I said, they make several different varieties of this and I'm sure there's a hundred different styles of these mounts that go in the tree. Um, but then like I said, we can move this anywhere we need it, tighten it down and it'll hold the phone nice and tight. The piece I screwed into the tree was like $5 and then this piece here I think is about $5. So a really good investment to be able to get some nice pictures if you're out by yourself um, or even if you do have a friend, good for you, and you have no way of holding the phone. Um, or camera or whatever else you want to put in there. So for cheap purchase, um, I was really impressed with the quality of it. This is all aluminum, and uh, this is your standard thread size on these. I believe it's quarter inch threads or whatever um, that'll screw into this bracket here. So there's my review, hope to help you out. So here's another view to try and show you how steep this is, you know, for the poles and the ice cleats. You can, I don't know if you can tell in this video how straight down that is. You might be able to see my partner down there walking around too. She's on her way up. And there's a nice view of the Pine Creek down through the PA Grand Canyon. 